Oh, man, what a day already. Um, I got the lawnmower jacked up. It's all up on stands all the way around. We, well, not me. I had nothing to do with it. I was doing my own work, cleaning bike parts, and it came in. Uh, I will show you how it all started, though. Uh, what happened was the roller fell off. Okay, and here is the roller itself. Okay, it got you. That's how sharp my blades are. <laughs> now I have to find a way. If you look in this hole, now I don't know if this is designed this way or if it happened because it's just been wearing. I don't know. That I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm actually going to pull another one apart and look and see what that looks like. So what we got to do is we actually, we have to pop two blades off. I'm going to take all the blades off because I'm replacing them all because I, you know, to have new blades and then old blades and then, you know, then I'm good. So what we need to do is we need to take the two blades off, uh, but I'm going to do all three. Definitely the middle, it's definitely this one in the middle and that one. And, um, and then what we have to do is we have to, I have to look at the shaft over here. This shaft here looks bent. Um, it doesn't look terribly bent, but it, it looks bent enough that it's, uh, you know, it's just not going to do as well as I need it. So I'm going to go ahead and get busy on that. Um, I'm going to replace, I'm going to take all the rollers off, the fronts, um, take that pulley off. Now I might have a little trouble doing that, I don't know. I might need a puller, but I don't have one, but I usually have easy ways to get things apart, um, which is also why I have a pen torch. Yes, it's probably not like an, you know, an oxycetylene torch, but it actually does work. You'd be surprised at how hot that thing gets. I was heating up a piece of metal one day just to kind of test it, you know, on a full charge of butane, and that thing got pretty hot. So, I mean, it, was, it wasn't red, but it was hot enough you wouldn't want to touch it for at least 20 minutes. <laughs> so, all right, well, I'm going to get busy. And we're gonna find out what the damage is and what parts I need to get. Um, so I will get busy on that and I will let you guys know. Well, uh, well, I do got some good news. Nothing's bent. Um, here are the blades that uh, came off of it. You know, looks, you know, does it? It's not bent. Um, it's actually designed that way. Uh, this is an old one here. But these are the two that got me concerned. Because if you look, it's this other end. That end, the bottom one, really got, really took a beating. Okay. And it took a chunk out of it. The other side, not so bad. So, that is actually cool because that means nothing got bent, nothing got damaged, except a blade and a uh, roller arm. I went ahead and ground down all the sharp edges. Um, I'm gonna actually just take a little bit of paint and just paint that so it doesn't rust. Um, but all the old parts that I get, um, that I keep, I actually repair them if they're repairable. And what I do is I save them for when something like this happens. Um, usually like on a Saturday or Sunday when people aren't open, I can just slap on the old parts, get me through the rest of the day and call it good. Um, you know, there's nothing, you know, nobody, cause a lot of the places around here, they're not open on Saturdays or Sundays, you know? So when you think about it, what are you going to do? You know, you're either going to be shut down for the day or you're just going to either rig something up until you get new parts. That's usually me. <laughs> um, but usually if my back, you know, really gets bad, I will usually just shut down for the day and be good. Um, but I, I got it all up on jack stands because it's easier to, you know, it's easier to get the blades off and on and be able to see things, and, you know, when you don't have your, uh, you know, it's all up, up in the air. Um, but it's going to sit like that till tomorrow, and we are going to do, this is going to have part two tomorrow of the repair. I'm putting it back together. Ha <laughs> ha. So, anyway, uh, 
see how tomorrow goes and hopefully we get parts. We got oil change, hydraulic oil, filters, uh, put the blade, the new blades on, the belts, um, and the front tire. Um, I'm gonna go get grease, we're gonna grease her up, and we're gonna finish tomorrow. So, anyway, I will see y'all tomorrow.